Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. I wanted to talk to you about a 502 air tractor aircraft that we're shipping to Australia. Yeah, Australia. So we're in Arkansas, United States. So they said it can be done, but it hadn't been done very many times. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen the uh, the ocean going shipping containers, but uh, so that's what we did. We put this airplane in a shipping container. But before I get to that, I want to kind of give you the backstory. Um, this airplane was it was used. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not, and it was a trade-in. So we did an annual inspection on it. We fixed a couple of things that was wrong, and they kind of put it on the market. And the person that bought it like I said, is in Australia. So they asked if we could do a couple other things to the aircraft. Uh, it already had a, it's called a Hatfield fuel system, where it's a single point, you just hook up single point fuel, and uh, it'll automatically fuel the aircraft. It'll stop when it's full, and uh, the normal air tractor doesn't have that system on it. So it already had that on there, which was something that the customer was looking for but they also wanted to extend the fuel tanks. So uh, we ended up doing fuel tank extension mod on this aircraft, and I'm gonna show you some photos uh, and talk about what, what it is that you're looking at, okay? So let's get into that. Okay, so right here what you see is, this is used to be the outer rib of the old fuel tank. You see the holes that we cut in it so the fuel would flow through it. And we actually extended the fuel bay out two bays. And these are the new ribs that we put in. You can see the two bays. The upper skin has already been attached to the wing. So, and we had to put some floats and some valves and stuff in there. And this is the skin on the top of the wing where it's been riveted on. You can see the two new fuel uh, access panels there. So, and this was painted. Uh, the, the bottom and the top skins, once we, were, once we were done, was painted to match the rest of the wing. Now this is the wing after it's been removed from the aircraft sitting on one of the maintenance stands. This isn't how we sent it. This is just sitting in the shop. And of course this is the other wing. Actually this is the left wing you're looking at now. Uh, this part closest to you is actually the spar. And that's the main weight carrying uh, structure for the wing. So, but anyway. This is the fuselage. You see we've taken the uh, landing gear off of it and we uh, manufactured these little casters to go underneath it so we could roll it around. And then this next frame here, you see the vertical stabilizer on the left side and that's on a stand that we built. And then those other two stands are wing cradles. That's how we put it in the shipping container. And then this is the propeller. Um, we also had to make that stand for the propeller to sit on. So it'll, uh, it'll ship in a vertical position. It just takes up too much space if it's laying uh, horizontal. This is us trying to figure out how to get the wing into the shipping container, because we have never done this before. So uh, that was a lot of fun, trying to uh, figure out the best way to do it. But we finally got it in there, and you can see that it's sitting in its uh, shipping cradle, and it's up against the side of the container. Now we did have to move it, because um, once we got the wing in there, we realized the fuselage, which you see here going into the shipping container, was a little bit wider than we anticipated. So, but getting the fuselage in was also fun. We had to use this hoist and a forklift on the back. Uh, this is some of the extra stuff that goes with it. Uh, the hopper, the um, gate box, uh, some of the spray attachments. But this is just stuff that's gonna get laid up in the container. These are the horizontal uh, elevators, left and right elevators that go on the back of the airplane. That's what controls nose up, nose down. They're wrapped in bubble wrap, ready to go. And then this next photo, these are the horizontal stabs, or stabilizers. And that's what the elevators attach to. Those also are wrapped in bubble wrap and ready to be shipped. So of course we removed everything off the back of the aircraft. This is the landing gear that we had removed. We put it on a pallet and tied it down made sure that it was nice and secure and that was actually the last thing that we put on inside the truck and then this next picture is going to be yes that's everything fuselage wings 
vertical prop, landing gear, everything inside the shipping container. So there you go, airplane in a container. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. Thought you might enjoy taking a look at this. And the next time you see a shipping container going down the road, just think, it might have an airplane in it. Who'd have thought? So anyway, take care, God bless, and remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye.